so here she is. Um, this is uh, the Black Pastel Huffman. I love this combo. Um, it is absolutely incredible. Uh, she's an awesome animal as well. She's, they're all my favorite, but she's one of my favorites as well. Her and Casper, as far as ball pythons go, uh, really, yeah, really, really make me happy, let's say. Um, but she's, uh, she's doing pretty good. She, uh, she's off feed, which is a bummer. She's 1200 grams, which is also a bummer. Um, I'm gonna try to do the, uh, just put a mail in, be very careful, pay attention trick. Uh, maybe it'll spark her appetite and get her back going. Um, it would've been cool if she would've went this year. I just don't think, you know, she's just not, she's not big enough, but this gene is pretty awesome. She's also, uh, she's a possible head hypo. The, uh, the hypo version with this as well is, uh, is bonkers. Um, I love it. I, I, I love hypo and black pastel in itself. And then to have the Huffman in there as well, it, it uh, really makes this snake pop and uh, makes it uh, really pretty, I think. But yeah, it's a really cool animal. I, uh, I'd love to get the, uh, the Motley in. Uh, it was kind of, I, th I think that was my last video. Get the, uh, the Motley gene at play in here. Um, involved with the, the, I guess, you know, kind of the allelic super form with the Black Lestel and Huffman Motley. That, I think that would be a, that would be a cool animal. Um, obviously, I'd love to get this going with Clown. Uh, clown is my favorite. I seem to not be very clown dominant though here. I have a lot of pieds, which is fine because I really like the clown pied. So, you know, going down that road. But yeah, this would be a really, really, really cool animal. You know, way down the future, obviously, would be the Huffman Black Pastel Motley Clown Hypo. That would be the uh, holy grail, so to speak, on this animal. But yeah, so you know, just uh, kind of showing her off. Uh, she's, I don't know, she's gorgeous. I, I love this snake. She uh, I actually picked her up here in Arizona at a reptile expo here, the one that's always in Phoenix. Uh, I can't remember when usually. I think it's, I believe it's usually November, I, you know, right around November. Um, but yeah, she's incredible, super friendly, um, really pretty. Always, uh, an outgoing snake and what's surprising is that she is off feed because she always eats she's that snake that eats and shed eats and blah blah so she's she's clearly on the hunt for males I just don't really think uh, I don't really think she's exactly ready for it but I don't know we'll kind of go from here and, and see uh, hopefully we can get her picked up on food you know maybe she'll go late this year maybe she'll hit 1800 grams or something crazy you know by the end of year she'll spark back up maybe that little male trick will work I don't know definitely not gonna push her though care too much about her to, to push her push her to her limits um, but yeah here she is here's everything happening um, I am about to start school again uh, if I haven't already by the time I upload this video so I'm gonna really do my best this year to prioritize my time a little better to incorporate the things that I really like doing and I really do like shooting these videos I really like keeping you guys up to date on track you know what's going on around here it's a lot of fun I love hearing from everybody on here but yeah, so I want to try to allocate my time better instead of spending, you know, maybe two hours playing video games. I want to, I want to show some snakes, shoot some videos. Um, yeah, loving it. But at any rate, everybody, I hope everybody's having a good day, a good night, and a good morning, whatever time you happen to be watching this. And we will, uh, we'll catch you later. Let me know. Also, maybe give me a like on there, right? I'll, I'll spam the like real quick. Yes. Let's, Whack it, right? Whack the like. But, all right. Well, we'll see you guys later.